Dr. Nawal El Sadawi. Ladies and gentlemen, straight from Tahir Square, Cairo, Egypt, Dr. Nawal El Sadawi, welcome to New York and NYU. That's right. It's very, very encouraging. <laughs> I am not encouraged usually, <laughs> but um, it's one of the very rare moments uh, to feel that I have done something. Uh, I was, I am used to be punished because, uh, yes, exactly, I am saying uh, reality here. I was all the time punished because of what I have written. There is a relationship between creativity and the ability to criticize, even to criticize myself, to criticize my father, my mother, to criticize God. My father gave me a very good lesson when I was a child. He told me, if you read the Bible or the Quran, because as Muslims, we have to believe in the three holy books. If you read, and I read them when I was in school, and I was not convinced as a child. I was not convinced <laughs> because I felt a lot of injustices. Why women are inferior? Why? So I was not convinced. And they used God against me all the time. Any time I want to, to have my freedom as a human being, as a girl, as a woman, they tell me, no, 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 no. God did not say that. God said you should obey. There is a relationship between obedience and religion. And there is also a relationship between fear and religion. In English, you say he's a very good person. He is God-fearing. But this is very wrong, because you, you cannot love God if you fear him. Love and fear cannot be in one heart. You, you cannot live together, love, love and fear. So if you fear God, you cannot love him or her, him or her. So I, start, as, and I think all children were suspicious of the way we were taught religion. Because as you read in my autobiography, uh, my, my, uh, we were three students very, very close together. A Jewish girl called Sarah and a Coptic Christian girl called Isis and myself. We were very good friends. We never, never felt what's the meaning of being Christian or Muslim or Jew. We were friends, we loved each other, but it was the school that divided us and said, you are a Muslim, you go and read the Quran. You are a Christian, go and read the New Testament. You are a Jew, you go and read the Old Testament. So the school, the educational system is the system that divided us, divide and rule. So that's why the education, education is used to serve the political system and to divide people by religion or by color or anything. And also we, we used to read some parts together, the Jew, the Christian, the Muslim in, in primary school. And we read some verses that we were not convinced in the Old Testament, in the, in the New Testament, and in the Quran. I, I can give you an example, but you read my, my autobiography, and, and you can remember, because I wrote the verses that are very, very strange, that cannot convince anybody in the three holy books. So I used to go to my father and tell him, what's that? So he told me, if you are not convinced, criticize. Even criticize God. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. So this, he helped me to get rid of the fear of God that I can read a holy book and then criticize it. So in fact, this helped me a great deal in criticizing the president after that. <laughs> because if, if you are a child and you can have a critical mind to criticize God, then you can criticize anybody. You can criticize your father, your mother, your husband, anything, because your mind is built in this courage. Creativity means courage. And we are full of fears. 
We are born in fear. We live in fear and we die in fear. To be afraid of everything, of political authority, of going to prison, of uh, going to exile, of afraid of divorce if I, uh, if, if I don't accept my, the treatment of my husband. Many women are afraid of divorce. I divorced three husbands just to write, <laughs> just to write. <laughs> And each time I make a divorce, I, I, people are amazed and they say, why? And they blame me. They don't understand because we live in a patriarchal system. And even if a woman is oppressed and she divorces her husband or he divorces her, she is the one to be blamed. But I didn't care. You know, this courage came from childhood. That's why it's very important to, to have this ability to criticize when we are children. People who are creative, why should we write? Because we are dreaming of a revolution for justice, freedom, love. This dream make us write, and this dream make us go to prison and to exile. Some people ask me, why did you go to prison? I said, because I am dreaming of freedom. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you, you go to prison, it's very contradictory. You go to prison because you love freedom, you know? So it's like that. People here in, in, in the so-called West or in the US or Europe, sometimes they don't understand very much us. They don't understand us. They, they think we are different. Or they think that Muslims are different from Christians or Jews, etc., Or that Islam is very different from Christianity or Judaism, which is wrong. I spent years, 10 years, comparing the three holy books because I was interested in religion to see why I am inferior in all religions. Why? I have to study it. <laughs> but I studied them, and I wanted to know exactly what's that. And then I discovered something very strange, that they are similar. And the differences are very, very minute. And women are inferior in all religions, in all. Similar in relation to virginity, to double standards, in relation to honor killing, in all this in the three holy books. So I, I felt that I should do something. I should write about that. And I was punished severely because of that. Religion is a sensitive, very sensitive issue, especially in our region. Also, what's important is religion is used politically to oppress people. And neocolonialism and religious fundamentalism are two faces of the same coin. <laughs> and to make it short, to make it short, usually I say Bin Laden and George Bush are twins. They are twins because they work together and then they quarrel together. Uh, you know, when we were children in school, uh, we, were, we were reading the three holy books in school. In primary school, we had to, 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 to read. Of course, we didn't read the whole three books, but the teachers selected some parts of this. And uh, during the break, the three of us, Sarah, Isis, and myself, we used to laugh about those books <laughs> because there were funny things. Mm -hmm. When I took part of that and put it in my play, it was so, people were laughing at, about the contradictions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't, uh, there are many examples about that. So uh, I'll give you an example which was funny. We were children, and we read about Virgin Mary, that the Spirit of God made her pregnant of Jesus. So I used, I was so afraid, because I thought maybe we'll do it again with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so I... <laughs> Uh, you know, the shutters of, my, of our window, of, of our home, was wide, so there were 
So anybody can, any spirit can come between the shadows. <laughs> so as a child, I used to, to close the, the, these gaps by, uh, I, but by wood paper, so that no spirit can come to me. Uh, I think I wrote that in my autobiography. <laughs> anyway, when you read the three holy books, you will be frightened. Yeah, many things. And the, the imagination, as I told you, children are creative. They are born creative before they, they are punished. So the three of us were saying jokes about that, and I discovered that Aziz and, um, and Sarah were doing, were doing the same thing, and they were afraid. The same fears, we share the same fears. People ask me, we heard that you had a very bad life, very painful, you went to prison, exile, divorcing three husbands, what, why you are so happy? <laughs> I look happy, well, I am happy, I am a happy person. From where this happiness come? From creativity. When I was in prison for three months under Sadat, we were not allowed to have any paper and pen. The prostitutes and the drug dealers and the killers they had everything, television, paper, pen, <laughs> everything. But the political prisoners, because they didn't allow us to write, and every day the jailer comes to my cell and tell me, if I find paper and pen in your cell, it's more dangerous than if I find a gun. So I decided since then to have a paper and pen. So the prostitute who, helped the jailer to bring us bread. I told her, in fact, she read Woman at Pound Zero, and she, she loved me, so I told her, can you bring me paper and pen? Because I need to write. So she said, okay. She, next day, she brought me a roll of toilet paper and her eyebrow pen. <laughs> so for three months, I sat at night when the jailer go home, and for three months, I was writing memoirs, my memoirs from the women prison by this little eyebrow pen and uh, roll of toilet paper. By writing, the pleasure of creativity, the pleasure of writing, I didn't feel prison. I was so happy. I was dancing and saying jokes and not feeling prison at all. So the pleasure of creativity can erase any pain. And so long I am writing, so long I have the ability to write and express myself. And I think you know it. When you express yourself, you feel you are happy. That's happiness, comes from that. It comes from, mostly from within and from without, but mainly from within. <laughs>